Hi, welcome to May Love. Today we address the question, are there ways to shrink your pores? Your pore size is largely genetically determined, so there isn't a good way to permanently resize your pores. However, you might encounter conditions that will enlarge your pores beyond what nature intended, and for these scenarios, there are things that you can actually do. You can use anti-acne and anti-aging topicals, such as retinoids and vitamin C serums, to prevent the potential further enlargement of pores that comes with acne, aging, and sun exposure. And further, you can reduce the appearance of pores with hydroxy acids and niacinamide-based products. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Jackie and I'm the CEO and Chief Product Obsessor here at Maylove. So first, let's talk about what are pores, what do they do, and why do I have them? The word pore is not really a medical term, but people use this word to describe the visible openings they see on their skin. Pores allow sweat and sebum, the face oil, onto the surface of your skin and often contain hair follicles as well. Enlarged pores are typically related to sebum rather than sweat, with increased sebum output associated with bigger pores. Some people just naturally have bigger pores than others, as you may already know, and this is largely genetically determined. So if your parents have large pores, you might too. However, pores can also become enlarged by one of two factors. In this section, let's talk about what factors can enlarge your pores over time and what we can do to mitigate them. The first is acne and the processes behind it. Your sebaceous glands, the oil-producing glands, go into overdrive and secrete too much sebum leading to enlargement of the pores or leading to clogged pores. And that results in inflammation that can not only lead to hyperpigmentation, but also leave enlarged pores and even pits in your skin. You want to treat these conditions using anti-acne and anti-inflammatory products such as retinoids, hydroxy acids, niacinamide, azelaic acid, and anti-inflammatory botanicals. The second factor is related to natural aging. Increasing age correlates with enlarged pores. Even though the causes of enlarged pores with aging are still unclear, one study has shown it may relate to your skin's elasticity. Basically, as you get older, your pores get bigger. The natural loss of elastin and collagen as we age may underlie this increase in pore size as we get older. Wrinkles that result from the loss of our skin's firmness and bounciness may also lead to adjacent pores that are connected to become even more enlarged in pore appearance. So basically, pores inside of a wrinkle merge to become a larger pore. Photoaging, the aging of skin as caused by sun exposure, accelerates these unwanted developments. So, start using anti-aging topicals such as retinoids and vitamin C to keep your collagen and elastin healthy and strong as long as possible. This will help your pores from getting bigger. But on a shorter time scale, what can you do to decrease the appearance of your pores today, tomorrow, or even next week? There are a few things we can do. First, exfoliate your skin with hydroxy acids. This will not only keep your pores clear, but it will help remove the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin that makes your skin look more dull and makes your pores look even larger. Another good option is physical exfoliation, which I personally like. I use a good scrub about once or twice a week. It's like giving myself a simple version of a microdermabrasion and my skin feels instantly smoother. I recommend scrubs that contain clay, which is particularly good for pulling away oily residue. Scrubs today are not like the harsh St. Ives stuff from years ago that cut your skin, so you don't have to worry about that. Second, use a niacinamide-based product. Not only is niacinamide a powerful anti-inflammatory, it helps to normalize and reduce sebum production, and by doing so, has been clinically shown to reduce pore size as well. That's it for today's video. Please click on the link below for the write-up of this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks, and see you next time.